Welcome everyone. Today we present the second video in our public education series from the Retina Institute of Bengal on Vitro Retina. In this video, we will try to answer two questions. First, who can have retina problems? And second, how do you know if you have a retina problem? So who can have a retina problem? The simple answer is a person can have a retina problem at any age. Right from premature babies who can have what we call retinopathy of prematurity to elderly who can suffer from diseases like age related macular degeneration or diabetic retinopathy people can have retina problems at every age group however there are certain group of people who are at a high risk for developing retina problems these include people with diabetes people with high minus power those with high blood pressure, those with a history of injury to the eye, and people who have family history of retina problems. There are many possible retinal problems. This is how your retina appears normally. There may, however, be bleeding under the retina due to old age. There may be bleeding in front of the retina due to various conditions, most commonly diabetes. There may be bleeding in the retina, something that we call stroke of the eye due to high blood pressure or diabetes. Or the retina may just get torn like this. And detach. All these different types of retinal diseases, however, have something that we must keep in mind in common. As explained in the first video, retina cannot be replaced. Therefore, for any person with a retinal disease, it is very important that we diagnose the condition early so that we can prevent severe loss of vision. This brings us to the second question of today's video. How do I know if I have a retina problem? Some of the common complaints a patient with a retinal disease can have are these. You may see straight lines distorted. You may see a black spot in the center of your vision along with that distortion. Or you may just see a black spot in the center of the vision without much distortion, though you can see on the sides. You may not see a single black spot, but multiple small black spots cobweb-like structures or flying insect-like structures in front of your eyes. These structures may not be black, but they may be white. Or there may be some curtain-like object which is obstructing your vision along with these flying insect-like uh, small uh, black objects. If you have any of these features, there's a high chance that your eye has developed a retina problem. However, you see, this is your retina and it's a, if you take the whole of the retina, it is only a small central part of the retina, which we also call macula, that is most crucial for vision. If your macula is healthy then you may not have any of the features that i discussed before 
your vision may be absolutely normal even though your retina is not healthy you tend to see distorted line black spots in front of the vision or black objects flying in front of your eyes only when the disease affects this small central part of the retina that is why if a patient comes to us and he has this kind of a healthy central retina he will never complain that he has any problem and indeed in this particular patient the patient came for an eye checkup because he had some problem in the vision in the other eye but when we examined his right eye even though he had no complaints in the eye we realized that his right eye retina too was not normal as you can see here there is some blood there are some white blood vessels we will not discuss the disease here but the important message is a patient who has so much of abnormality in the retina since the pathology or the disease is away from the center will not complain of or not suffer from any vision problem and this is the reason why if you are at risk of a retinal disease that means if you have diabetes if you are age is above 40 years you have high minus power high blood pressure there is a history of injury or a family history of retinal disease we strongly recommend that you get your retina checked regularly to check your retina your eye doctor will first put some drops in your eyes we call this dilating drops why do we put such drops we put these drops to dilate your pupil because if we really want to see the entire retina we need to first dilate your pupil and then use some special lenses to do the same if we try to see your retina without dilating the pupil we definitely can see the central retina but it is very difficult to see the peripheral retina and as i have shown you before there may be a problem in your peripheral retina and yet you may not have any problems so for a complete thorough retina checkup it is important that we dilate your pupils and check your entire retina this is also what we call a part of what we call comprehensive eye checkup which includes not only checking the power of the eye that means checking for glasses but also doing a thorough eye examination checking the pressure of the intraocular pressure as well as retina optic nerve and all the parts of the eye we highly recommend that every person tries to undergo one comprehensive eye checkup at least every year especially if they are in the high risk group for retinal diseases at this stage you may have still few questions in your mind one i said that diabetes is a condition which puts you at high risk for retinal problem and therefore you may want to know how diabetes affects our retina also i have told you that retinal diseases there are so many of them and they can cause blindness naturally you will like to know how do we treat these different retinal diseases we'll definitely try to answer these questions as well as many others in our subsequent videos thank you for watching this video please subscribe to our youtube channel to get regular notifications about our subsequent future videos to more, know more about the retina institute of bengal and the work we are doing please visit our website www.retinainstituteofbengal.com thank you